I know uh, one thing Willie talks about a lot is, is playing point five basketball. You know, just just how comfortable you play in that decision that that system with quick decision making. Yeah, no, that's uh, he's big on that, and you know, uh, you know that's how I like to base my game as well on you know quick catches, making quick decisions. So uh, you know we got players out there that you know really good with the ball in their hands. That once they give it up, you have to you know make the right decision and do it quick. So. Uh, you know, for me, um, you know, I, it's either shoot it, pass it, or drive it. You know, and it's just gonna be quick. So, uh, you know, I think um, that's something that you know I've been working on and trying to be good at this year. You ever seen anything like what uh, Zion just did? I've never seen anything like that. That guy's a, a freak of nature. Um, you know, he really is, you know, crazy in, in, the, in the stuff he does. And you know, he turned the game around for us. You know, when they started coming back. Um, and yeah, what do you have? 33, 10, 5, like four steals. That are, like, that's a crazy game, and it doesn't surprise me because you know I I seen him do it. But um, you know that guy's a freak of nature. How just more comfortable do you feel overall with your game, you know, compared to a month ago, right now? You know, I'm uh, I'm very confident. You know, uh, and you know it's, it's only building more and more each game. Um, and you know the coaches are putting trust in me as well. You know, putting me out there, giving me the minutes, and uh, you know let me you know run the team with the ball as well. So. Um, for me, you know, I'm feeling comfortable and, you know, I want to keep building, um, you know, keep making the right decision, you know, keep playing hard. But, um, you know, I'm grateful for the opportunity I've been getting, you know, I want to take it with both hands. Yeah, you know, one of the advantages of playing in the G League like you did was it's just a similar start to NBA, obviously not the same, but just how much do you feel like that's allowed you to adapt quickly to playing in the NBA and really figure out your style and establish yourself? Yeah, definitely. You know, the G League helps, you know, just uh, – Playing, you know, the, the different court lengths, you know, playing the, the time, the game clock, um, and, you know, just the NBA style, you know, base play as well, um, you know, helps me transition over quicker and, you know, coming to a team with some really good players on it as well. I've, I've got to adapt to, you know, playing with these guys as well and playing off the ball a bit more. Um, but, you know, I'm still learning every day and, you know, I, I'm taking it all in, you know, watching a lot of film where I can be better at. Um, but, you know, I think playing in the G League has definitely, you know, helped me transition um, to, you know, the NBA, you know, really well. And defensively, I think that's what a lot of people say. It's hard for young guys to come in and defend on a high level mm -hmm. at, at, in the NBA. I, I guess what's allowed you to do that so far? Yeah, you know, for me, I base my game on my defense, you know, being able to stay in front of people, contest shots, you know, get steals. Um, and, you know, that's, that's something that, you know, I enjoy doing as well. So, you know, I think that's, that's the one thing that keeps me on the floor. And, you know, my offensive game is coming along. And, you know, I've had to, you know, guard some really, you know, tough opponents. And, you know, I like taking that challenge. But, um, you know, I sit down before every game and watch film with, you know, Coach Ryan on, on who the matchup will be and, uh, you know, just look at what they like to do and just, you know, take, take strengths away because, you know, these great players, they're, they're so good at, you know, so many things that you just want to force them into, you know, what their weaknesses are. And um, for me, it's just about, you know, knowing my personnel, knowing who, who I'm guarding and, you know, just trying to make them uncomfortable. Uh, the Raptors are a pretty unique team in the in the fact of how they choose to cover teams defensively. They can be pretty versatile. They switch a lot more than other teams. What's that challenge like as a point guard, just seeing different coverages thrown at you um, throughout the course of the game? Yeah, for sure. You know the Raptors are. You know they got size at every position. Um, you know they they're very good at you know deflections and you know denying passes and stuff like that. Um, so playing against a team like this is different to you know playing against you know someone like Golden State. So um, you know these guys you know they're very well drilled defensively and you know, I think we did a really good job of moving the ball. Um, you know getting it to Zion. You know letting him go to work, space on the floor, and uh, you know just getting out in transition. You know is uh, there's something we're very good at, and you know, it's hard to defend us when we're in transition. So, um, you know, I think playing against the Raptors, who are a very unique team in the way they play, um, you know, the easiest way is to get out in transition, and I think we did that did that well tonight. Uh, at the beginning of the season, you scored some DMPs, and now you almost had a triple double tonight. How do you stay confident? Yeah, I just got to stay ready. Um, you know, I put in the, in the work. You know, uh, you know, before practices, after practices. You know, I just got to stay ready. Because you know, opportunity will come. You know, injuries. You know, for guys going down with sicknesses and stuff like that. So um, you know, just got to stay ready, and when the opportunity comes, grab it. And you know, take it with both hands. And um, you know, the the last you know few weeks, we've had had a few guys out with you know those injuries and sicknesses. So um, you know, I've stepped up and you know wanted to you know help the team and play my game. But um, you know, obviously the start of the season, um, you know, people can get down on themselves. But for me, it's just about getting in the gym and putting in the work. You mentioned, you said my offensive game is coming along. Um, you made another three pointer tonight. I think you're like just under fifty percent on threes this mm -hmm. season. That wasn't something that people, when they talked about the draft, said. You know that's going to be a 
a big strength of yours. Yeah. I mean, how do you see the how much you've developed your your confidence or just overall your your shot from you know the off season until now? Yeah, that's been my main focus. You know, uh, from the off season to now, you know, every day I pretty much be in the gym with Fred, um, putting in work. So, uh, you know, he's he's really you know helped me change my shot. You know, help me you know be able to you know get the fundamentals down. You know, be able to get my shot off quicker and. You know, he knows everything about shooting. He knows what I need to do. And um, for me, it's just about, you know, putting in the work ethic every day and, uh, you know, listening to him and trusting him. So uh, he's been great for me. And, you know, uh, the shots have been falling for me and it makes my life easier playing with guys like, you know, Zion, BR, CJ, who are, who are draw so much attention that, you know, they, they pass the ball, I get the open shots, I just got to knock them down. So, uh, you know, I'm confident in my shot and you know, that's something, um, you know, I'm really happy with this year. I mean, we're basically like you know a month a month and a half into the season and you know you want to keep keep it up obviously but I mean how do you feel about just the the progress that you've made I mean are you, is that something that you feel really good about in terms of or is that something that you, you don't expect to be able to make that much of a jump this mm. quickly no nah, for me um you know I'm happy with you know the progress I've been making and you know I think there's still a long way to go but um, you know, I'm just getting more com confident and comfortable every game, you know, playing with these guys. And, you know, my teammates trust me and my coaches trust me, which helps me uh, go out there and play my game. And um, obviously, you know, from the start of the season to now, I, I feel like I've gotten a lot better and just found my, my way in the system. And, um, you know, I think, you know, moving forward, that I can really, uh, you know, take big strides from here and, you know, be even better. Thanks, guys. Right, thanks, guys.